What it do, flight crew? FTC. Flight team stand up. We got the record breaking space jump. So this is basically the highest like jump somebody has ever did in like history. And this was back in 2012. This is an interesting video that was actually linked to me. His name was uh, Rodolfo something something I forgot. Shout out to you because I feel like this is like a, a, a hidden uh, gem or something, bang or whatever. I don't even know. You just hooked me up with because like I damn near had to like find like, you know what I'm saying? Do some damn like research, research. You know what I'm saying? So apparently back in 20, uh, uh, 2012, there was a dude. Uh, I had him type them in a search bar right here. Uh, Felix Bar Gertner. Um, so basically like he jumped because like I seen he linked me in a video uh, of something in any, uh, I was trying to find it and stumble upon shit, and then like here it is, like the actual full vid is from like Red Bull Stratos, a uh, free fall faster speed of sound. This is supposed to be the highest jump somebody ever did, and basically this man was in outer space, bro. First of all, I didn't think that was like possible. I thought the gravity of the Earth would pick you up, you know what I'm saying, or just like the outer space and just like the altitude of everything. I told you guys, science class is my favorite subject in school. I always my highest grade I got in science was like a B, but I always do good in science. Let's check it out. Interesting, man. Previous, okay, so the previous record was, oh, by the way, this is some educational niche. We don't got no pop quiz, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, I thought, you know, coming into the new year, you guys should just appreciate more things and just like, but hey, look, bro, that don't mean that administrators can't walk in and you feel me. Hide your iPhones, your iTouches, your Nanos, your Androids, your LimeWires, your Pagers. You know what I'm saying? Because if they come in and take your stuff, it's a new year, bro. They're going to auction it off, bro. I don't have any control of that. Back on to the action. All right, so like 1960 was the last time somebody jumped the highest. And that was from like, 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 like how high though? I'm trying to see. Jeez. Joe Kit Tiger from 19 and a half miles above the surface of Earth. So, he, how are y'all jumping from space, bro? How does it, how does people know that you can't breathe in outer space? Did somebody, like, test that out themselves? Like, what if you can actually breathe in outer space and you're, there's just, like, a hidden amount of just, like, land and world you can just discover, bro? Like, how do you know that you truly can't breathe? Maybe you just float different and shit because of, like, the, 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 the atmosphere and gravity, but how you know you won't be able to breathe? Okay, so elite 24 miles above surface, Earth. So how did he even get up there in the first place, bro? Oh, actually, let me turn the um, instrumental down a little bit. I don't know if it's copyrighted or not. How are they floating in the air with just the plastic bag? That's dangerous. Bro, he's getting held by like, okay, I think his thing says sponsored by Red Bull. So he's getting held by something like, he's getting held by an extra large Red Bull energy drink and then like a plastic bag. That's dangerous. How does he do that? Or who, who invented that? How did he do that? Okay, leap to the final jump. Red Bull Stratos. Okay, uh, do you read me, Felix? <laughs> Game Pro Initializing. Darth Vader? <laughs> now, if you guys want to uh, know me, disconnect the a little hidden uh, fear, fear is just like extreme heights. I don't mean I can go into like a, a, a tall building or nothing. I'm not talking about that. Like a tall building where it's closed, glass, and everything. I'm talking about like, you know what I'm saying, heights like this, bro.
Oh my gosh. There it is. There's the world. Oh my gosh. Wait, how is it daytime and outer space? I thought it's night all the time. Alright, stand up on the exterior step. Keep your head down. And our guardian angel will take care of you. Oh my gosh, bro, that is too high. Holy bro. Bro, if I bro, like me just seeing that blue earth stratosphere, and this is just proof that earth is round, like it just shows everything is round right here. Anyway, but bro, oh bro, I probably would damn pass out, bro. Just seeing like that's my biggest fear, bro. I don't ever want to be that high. Not if it's ganja, but from like that, bro. You just see the land. You don't even see the cities. You don't see people walking. You don't see any cars. You don't even see birds, bro. You just see, like, the land and earth. You don't even see clouds. And you just see barely green things. That's, like, grass and stuff. But, Release dude. The strap. Nah, bro. You could have paid me to do this, man. That Red Bull fit is hard. I ain't going to cap. <laughs> that astronaut Red Bull fit. <laughs> You have to be up really high. Oh, you are. To understand how smart you are. I mean, okay, the quote of the day. Okay. Hey, man, you just, just in case, you just gotta say that quote. Just in case, you gotta say the top quote of the. Oh! Whoa! Okay, so it's, I think it has a GoPro on us. Oh my gosh, it's so dark behind them! Oh! No way I can't do this. Oh my gosh, nah, I'm passed out at this point. Passed out at this point. When I, Bro, I think it went literally daytime to dark time and out of space. It's completely dark in just the circular round curve, the circumference of the Earth. It's quiet. There's no noise in outer space. That's right, because there's like no cars and wind. Oh my gosh, I think I saw the moon. He's doing how many flips is he doing? That's what I'm saying. Like, bro, I'm, I'm, I'm passing out, bro. Me, me doing like 30 million flips and seeing that? I'm going. I think that's the sun or a really big star behind him, too. Dude, it's too quiet. We can't play no music. You don't got AirPods? Wait, 2012? I don't think they was invented yet. But no earphones or something, bro? Oh, wait, they finally got the... Okay, maybe the GoPro sound quality. So a respiratory count. Respiratory? What's that mean? Speed 546. Speed 546 respiratory count. Any nurses out there? What does that mean? March 1? First, oh my gosh, bro, it's too many spins, bro. So, look, the airspeed, uh, I'm gonna edit this. You know what I'm saying? Slide to the right. Mm, crash, crash. Bro, look at the altitude. The altitude means like height in scientific terms. He is 97,717 feet, bro. He's literally 100,000 feet. Above the land, bro. That's far. And then the airspeed, he's doing 800 miles per hour. You can't go that fast in a car, bro. I don't think planes... I think planes... That's just the amount of speed planes go, I think. He's going as fast as a plane right now. And then there's talking about his heart rate and respiratory. Question mark? Damn it, you calling me? How are you? Oh my gosh, bro. Oh, 
He said he feels like he's about to pass out, bro, because of the spin. Wait, the heart rate was going fast? Showing feet. What is. One minute, 30 seconds, and stable as a rock. Oh, it took him that long for him to get stable. He was spinning too much. Two minutes into free fall. Two minutes into free fall. Dude. You look you're really stable. You've fallen three and a half minutes. What does that mean? Four minutes free fall. Two minutes free fall. Why is he pulling his parachute now? It's too early, I think, isn't it? Okay, his parachute's good. Damn. Oh my gosh. Oh, bro, that outfit is fire as hell, bro. He had the Rambo parachute and everything, too. That's fire. Yo. Hey, man, would you guys do that for $20 billion? Comment that down below. As usual, man, comment down below. That's your next, man. I wrote the fire.